Hey there, this is David Breen with BreenDesign.com, and guess what? I finally got it working. I got two connects, complete 360 degree motion capture. It's it's beautiful. So here it is. Here is my final product. Um, it's not perfect. There's a part where the model forgets to follow the arm. I don't know why. So the arm gets a little hung up. And I'll show you where that's at. But the rest of it looks good, and it's working. So here's a character that I imported into IPI Soft from 3ds Max that I had skinned. And it follows it really well. There's the part where the hand hiccups. And uh, he spins. And then from here on out, it's really good. Works really well. So we've got some sweet awesome 360 degree possibilities going on here we have some nice action scenes um, yeah so as you can see right here where it messes up on the hand see it does this this action here if we turn on the depth actually it's not going to show it on him it's going to show it on this guy here, because this mesh here is just mimicking the bone system within IPI saw. You can see this purple part here. That's supposed to be the other part of this hand. This hand should be extended out like that. And for whatever reason, it didn't capture that. So I've tried refining it, and it just won't stick to that. So there are little hiccups. It could have just been because uh, that my hand was moving too fast and the motion capture for it to recognize. I don't know what happened there. But it came back into place. And I mean, once you bring this into your, your 3D program, you can use animation layers and fix that pretty easily. So it's not a huge deal. Um, but I mean, for what this is, two Xbox Connects and some good software here and you can make yourself some professional stuff you know you gotta go in and tweak it when you're done and fine tune it but yeah and as you can see this area region of interest with the green here this is the part of the video that I went to tracking and I refined it and then I apply the jitter removal to it. So that's why this part here looks the best and everything's kind of smooth and, you know, the feet aren't exactly hitting the ground, but that can be, you can use Motion Builder to lock those to the ground. It has some great tools for that. Um, and I'm sure 3ds Max does too. So the next step is to get, you know, one of my characters in 3ds max render it out and make it look cool but that's it for now we've got it working i will you know if there's a demand for it and i get some people commenting on my video and you guys want this uh if you like my video and you you know make a request i might be persuaded to have a a nice um step-by-step -step tutorial with the latest version of IPI soft and show you how to get the soul set up. It's kind of complicated, probably take about a 20 minute tutorial to do it. Kind of lazy right now, but we'll see. That's it. Thanks. Bye.